Oh, great. They're back. Keep quiet and stand still. Maybe they won't notice us. Hey, look, Max. It's vaguely ethereal versions of ourselves. Are they ghosts? No, probably just those soul things we keep hearing about. Well, what do you know? I do have one! Come to Papa! Yeah, I don't think so. Right. You guys run along and play. We'll be over here until our ride comes. Okay, fun's fun, but get back in here. I'm already tired of being a zombie. Well, perhaps you should have thought of that before you treated me so abominably. Maybe now we'll get the appreciation we deserve. What's your beef against us? He never paid attention to me. And you're not much better. We'll force you back in if we have to. You can't make us do anything. Come on, guys. We need our souls. It's no fun being the way I am when it's expected of me. Good riddance. Get your own souls. We'll find a way to make you come back. You'll get distracted and start watching TV. Or go off on random shooting sprees and forget all about us. As usual. Ooh, creepy. It's like they can predict our every move. We'll find a way to make you come back. We doubt it. Jurgen must be sleeping off his humiliation at the zombie club. Let's chop off his head, then set him on fire, then go for ice cream. We can't hurt him while we're still zombies, Max. Then let's put his hand in warm water. <laughs> Alchemy for beginners. Jurgen made it up to chapter 14, turning chocolate to gold. Oh, but build me a machine that turns gold nuggets to chicken nuggets, and we shall have power unlimited! Ann Coulter, a life. Here we have a vampire in his natural habitat. We've got to get our souls back. I don't know. I'm enjoying being 21 grams lighter. We're zombies. I know! I never suspected our souls were so obnoxious. I've been telling you for years we shouldn't listen to them. Vampires, zombies, and now a monster created from spare body parts. I was kind of hoping you'd turn into a werewolf. Full moon's not for a few days, Max. There's still time. How's Undeath treating you, Max? It's surprisingly not all that different from anti-life. Yeah. Right back at you, Sam. It's the machine that removed our souls from our bodies. There's a television here? You'd think a guy with his own dungeon would invest in more secure cages. Looks like a trophy case from all the vampire hunters who've tried to defeat Jorgen. How do you like your steak, Max? Pointy! Looks like a painting of Jorgen in the club when he was younger. Abyss. Razors. Pain. Parents. Look, Sam! I did not expect that thing over there to open. Why 
is the floor so sticky? There's not a single possible answer to that question that I like. Let's go, little buddy. Eh, Flint tastes like cigarettes and cheap scotch. I don't think he's my hero anymore. You're only saying that because you don't have a soul, Max. Let's hurry and get it back. I don't like myself like this. He may have been our best president, but he's a total glass jaw against lone gunmen. I'm disappointed Flint fell for such an old trick. Nope. Hey, Count Crippin Desgras, my hero. Can't talk. Must dance! I wish we had our souls back. It's funny, Sam. I like just about everything about being a zombie, except for the constant itchiness. You noticed that, too? <laughs> you, too! Never die batteries. They're dead. I bet my lifetime subscription to the Fortean Times that that's an alchemy machine. Ah, oh, nuts. The batteries are dead. These diagrams are so scientific, I couldn't possibly make sense of them. Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Rooting is more fun when you do it with a pal. It is at times like these, when a monster is driven to consider his place in history. Are we not all but misshapen combinations of flesh and feelings, bodies and souls? Yeah, okay, we get it. Please remember to update my BIOS settings. Oh, wow, man. You're like a dog. Uh, and uh, a surgeon. That's like wild. Just do this a few million more times and I'm guaranteed re-election. Can we hurry this up, guys? I've got a dozen foreclosures to get caught up on today, and that's just the orphanages. Oh no! I've overslept! I'm late, I'm late! Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? Ah, talking bunny! That clock must be a little slow. Listen, brothers. Can you not hear the song of the Earth Mother? I think that would work better as a heart. Yes, that's much better. I'd operate at a much greater efficiency if you'd install Linux. I don't expect you to understand the reasons why, of course, Shut but... up. Yes, sir.
the second best brain in the room. He's the only one here with a heart. Ah. Right back at you, Sam. 